The Western Virginia Continuum of Care is working to count the number of people living without permanent shelter from Harrisonburg up to Winchester. WHSV's Olivia Whitehouse spoke with the organization and a shelter a little further south to see how the forecasted frigid temps might impact those living without permanent housing. Olivia. Kayla, Caitlin Heatwell with the Continuum of Care says they can look at the numbers over the years and see if trends are going up or down and how demographics are changing. In 2023, for the Northern Valley, the single highest reason that people said was the cause of their homelessness was a health illness, either for themselves or a family member. It's not often what people think about in terms of homelessness, but that really is when people are sort of just barely making it and then they have one crisis, one hospitalization, or they, you know, lose a job because they're sick. Down in Waynesboro, staff at the Waynesboro Area Refuge Ministry says the shelter tends to see a higher number of people seeking shelter when the weather gets colder. We are comfortable that 50 is probably what we're going to be seeing over the next at least the next few weeks and then um, in two weeks we'll be back at Expo and we can get, uh, our numbers can get higher there. Brian Edwards says even if people do not stay the night, the shelter encourages them to come in for a meal and look through their donated clothes. The point in time count will be conducted on January 24th. Heatwell says the count is a combination of sheltered homelessness, people who are staying in emergency shelters and unsheltered homelessness. Working hard for you, Olivia Whitehouse, WHSV.